Sometimes I slept on the side of the road. Sometimes I slept in a horse pasture. So you were like a hobo walking across the Sometimes America. I slept in cemeteries. I was basically wow. homeless. Yeah, I was a transient. When you did, just when you did this, were you working for him? Uh, no. I stopped working for him to go do this, and then I came back, and now I'm playing with him again. Um, so, what was, I mean, I understand the whole purpose of this was to witness, but... You've forgotten the question. You were, no, you were walking, but when did you witness while you were walking? Uh, well, many people witnessed me walking. I would wave at them when they drove by. Uh, okay, in the biblical sense. Oh, biblically, witness. Um, well, every day, because as I was walking with a backpack and the scruffy beard and everything, people came to me and they wanted to know, yeah, hey, what are you, what are you here. about? Where are you going? Where are you coming from? And so I was able to tell them and give them a card and tell them coast to coast for Christ. I'm walking across the country. Um, and then depending on who it was and how they reacted to that basic information, I would kind of know where to take the conversation from there. What state did you take the most? state that I hate. I don't think I hated any of the states. <laughs> um, I hated how long it took to get through West Virginia. My goodness, that was horrible. <laughs> that state went on forever. Because I, I hiked in it for a while and then, you know, how Maryland comes down yeah. in, back into West Virginia. Well, I went through the tip of Maryland and then back into West Virginia again. It took forever. And it was the winter. So that was rough. So if you go online and look at the pictures of West Virginia, you'll see some pretty interesting winter shots. Did you have that crazy long roses beard? You bet I did. Are you being sarcastic? No, I did. I, I had quite a scruffy uh, growth. Did your family ever come see you? Um, like anyone you knew? <laughs> Well, yeah, you run into a lot of people. I, I know a lot of people from all over, and so at different places there were people where they lived there, and I went through their town, so that was kind of nice. Um, as far as family, I did discover my cousin in Oklahoma City, who I hadn't seen in like 15 years or so, like that, because uh, I got exposure on the radio, and she was listening. She was in a car with her husband listening to the radio, and uh, and they were talking about some guy named Daniel Johnson hiking across the country with Coast to Coast for Christ. And she turned to her husband and said, hey, I've got a cousin named Daniel Johnson. Wouldn't that be cool if that was him? And so she went home and looked it up on the website, and it was me. Go figure. And so then now I'm back in contact with her. And so then when I got to Oklahoma City, I actually stayed with them for a few days and met my uh, nephews and nieces and hung out with them. And so that was me. Did you walk the entire way, or did you use vehicles at any point? I walked the entire way. Did Every you ever get step lost? of the way. Uh, no, I was found the whole time. <laughs> so my my ambition was to find other people. Lost. Yeah, it's uh, like we get off trail. I was I was a bit confused for periods of time, but I was never completely lost. So you would just like aimlessly walk around until you found something to help you get just back on aimlessly, track. Aimlessly, yeah. I would just kind of wander around. Where did you start? Where did you? I use the holistic. Uh, I, the, the holistic tracking technique where I just found someone that looked like they knew where they were going and I just followed them. <laughs> and so I may not end up where I wanted to go, but I would always no. be where I needed to be. How many states did you walk through? 26. That's like more than half. <laughs> Almost. By one. It is. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where did you start? I started at the top of Maine at the border of Canada and I stopped at the bottom of California at the border of Mexico. Are Canadians obnoxious? Uh, well, seeing as how I didn't walk through Canada, I'm not sure. I don't know that I met a lot of Canadians. But Back to your job. Yes. What is your job? Like, what did you go to school for? To do? Uh, I went to school because they told me to, like you guys. <laughs> hey, you kind of have so to go to school. Now, why school, school? What did you go to school for? Oh, I went to school for an education, for the most part, just to kind of learn all the basics. Okay. Um, did you go to college? Did you go to college? I went to college to learn about engineering a little bit, and then I became a Christian, and then I went to a different college for Bible study. So I thought that was useful, since I like the Bible, and I want to know more about God. So I said, let's go somewhere where they teach that. So I went to Colorado Springs, and that's where I plugged in there, and that's where I coached volleyball. Did you know I coached volleyball? Yes. Yeah, so three years there, and then I coached one year just in the city rec league, so four altogether. Volleyball is nice. How would y'all meet? Um, we haven't. <laughs> ChristianSingles.com? <laughs> wow. 
I, I packed up all my stuff in Colorado Springs into my van and I drove to Pensacola and showed up on the doorstep and said, I want a job. <coughs> and they said, you gave y'all one? <laughs> not, not right away. You know, it, it took a while, but yeah. I didn't go away, so they eventually started paying me. So that was kind of nice. Exactly. That was my first homeless experience. <laughs> So does all that make sense? No, not in the least. Excellent. Are you ever going to show this to anybody? anybody? Mm, well, YouTube is a wonderful thing. And people just post a bunch of trash on there, so why not add ours? 